This is a very exciting day for Community MD Anderson Cancer Center. Today is October 1st, 2024, and we're doing our first stem cell transplant. Today is the day we infuse the uh, stem cells into the patients. These are his own stem cells that were collected you know, maybe about 10 days ago. They've been uh, frozen, so uh, we will thaw them uh, near the bedside and uh, then take them there where they, the nurses will infuse and uh, we will be monitoring the patient carefully for any side effects. The patient had a large dose of chemotherapy yesterday, so that would typically ablate his marrow so that uh, if we didn't use stem cells, the marrow wouldn't recover. So we're really uh, salvaging the, the marrow by the use of uh, stem cells. Stem cell transplant and cellular therapy are a key linchpin to our cancer program and will allow us here at Community MD Anderson Cancer Center provide life-saving uh, treatments for our patients that have heme malignancies like leukemia, lymphoma, myeloma. Now you let us know if you feel any differently than you do right now, okay? There's we expect that when our program is very mature, we're going to be seeing between 150 and 200 transplants a year. And this is very important for those individuals here in the state to have ready access to high quality care. A lot of time and effort has gone into this. Um, I think the most important thing that got it started was the commitment by the system. Community Health Network really put their weight behind getting a stem cell transplant program opened up. And without that support, we really wouldn't be anywhere right now. It's important for people to be able to get the full range of cancer care services within Community Health Network, and that was our commitment, was to make sure that we could bring that to our patients.